I went to one more Dollar Tree and this one, they didn't have everything that I wanted, but they had a lot of things that I have not seen here before. So, oh my gosh, I found some of the coolest things. Yes, they had the Christmas ornaments, but they had some more things too. And I actually found something that I probably wasn't supposed to find, but I'm going to share that with you because, whoa, I shouldn't have seen that. All right, my friends, so we are at Dollar Tree number one, and this is the Dollar Tree that I come to all the time. I always come on my lunch break, so yes, see, I'm dressed in my scrubs, so it is my lunch break, and I figured we'd start with the Dollar Tree I always come to and see if they have any Christmas treasures that I've been searching for. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Whoa, oh, oh. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? In our Christmas memories Oh, oh, la da da oh, oh, oh la da 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 oh, oh, oh la da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you So that was the Dollar Tree that I usually go to and not a big surprise, they didn't have a lot of Christmas stuff, they have a little bit. I did find a few things that I will be crafting with relatively soon so we're gonna go check out two more Dollar Trees and after that I'll come back and show you everything that I found but hopefully I, I'm really looking for these glitter trees they're supposed to be in the dollar plus section at three dollars so that is what I'm searching for right now so I'm hoping one of the other Dollar Trees will have those trees so Let's go to another Dollar Tree. All right, well, we are day number two, going to Dollar Tree number two. So I actually have Linda here. Hello. And we are at the fancy Dollar Tree. So this is the bigger Dollar Tree that it's like a special occasion one that I go to. <laughs> I don't go to it very often, but when I do, I always bring Linda. So I am going to go inside with Linda and we are gonna see if we can find the Christmas things that I have been searching for. So let's go shopping. Well, that one was okay too, but again, they didn't have the Christmas trees that I was searching for. So I have one more Dollar Tree to go to. So now I gotta go back to work because lunch break is over. And the next stop will be the third and final Dollar Tree. So I'm hoping they have these Christmas trees. I've been hanging marbles in the tree 
And I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories gosh you guys okay so i forgot to do my little intro to let you know that i was going to one more dollar tree so i went to one more dollar tree and this one they didn't have everything that i wanted but they had a lot of things that i have not seen here before oh my gosh i found some of the coolest things yes they had the christmas ornaments but they had some more things too and i actually found something that i probably wasn't supposed to find but i'm gonna share that with you because whoa i shouldn't have seen that but i hope no one gets in trouble i'm not going to tell you which store this is but i'm going to drive home now and then change my clothes feed my horses and then i'm going to show you everything that i got at all three different dollar trees okay so those were the dollar tree stores that i went to three different Dollar Trees trying to find some Christmas decorations or the Christmas DIY stuff that they have. And I was able to find some of the things that I wanted. So I thought I would show you what I was able to find at the Dollar Trees. So we're gonna start with the first Dollar Tree. And it really wasn't impressive as far as the Christmas stuff goes. So I didn't get carried away. I only found a few things but I can never have enough of the Dollar Tree ornaments. So this is a 12 pack of ornaments for $1.25. And the silver ones were really pretty. And the red with the red and the red glitter. And then these were really pretty with some different patterns and some red glitter ornaments too. So for $1.25, that's a really good deal. And then I found this, this is a duster. It says it's a 360 degree duster. And I bought three of them with the hope, see what it looks like. This is awesome. This is very cool. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanna use these for a Christmas wreath and everything I bought at all of these Dollar Trees, I'm actually going to be making some DIY Christmas decor and that is going to be in a video that's gonna come out Thursday. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see what I'm going to make with these. But these are just dusters and it says it's a three piece set and the three pieces include two of the dusters and then a handle for it. And I'm pretty sure you can find something to use this for but again, I really bought it for the dusters. They should work well, I think, I hope. Now, this is awesome. So these are just treat containers, but I didn't buy this for the purpose that it's originally intended, but I wanted the lids because they have this rippled edge, kind of scalloped edge, and this is perfect for a project that I'm gonna share with you on Thursday. 
And they are starting to get out some of their stocking stuffers and these pencils were really cute. So it's a 16 piece package of pencils with Christmas designs and I liked them. So I went ahead and bought those. And this was really awesome. This is tissue paper, but the main reason I bought this was because it looks like one or maybe two pieces of the tissue paper have Christmas designs on them. So it says reindeer crossing, North Pole Express, farm fresh Christmas trees. I have a really neat project to show you using this tissue paper. And I've never seen this before at the Dollar Tree. So I was really excited when I found it. And they are starting to put out their scarves because it's fall. So this is an adult size scarf. It is 59 inches long by nine and a half inches wide. Again, for a project, very Christmassy. And it seems like this plaid is very popular this year. And then I got a candle and it says Zen on it, white, ginger, and amber. It doesn't smell horrible, but I don't really want the Zen label on it. So that I will show you on Thursday as well. But I really do like the frosted glass. That is perfect for Christmas time. And that is it from the Dollar Tree number one, the Dollar Tree I go to all the time. I know that store inside and out. So for the next Dollar Tree, I went to the big Dollar Tree and this one is very large. They have a lot of stuff and I always bring Linda with me. So Linda was looking for something else. And of course I was looking for the Christmas stuff. I mean, I see all kinds of people putting videos out on YouTube and they go to their Dollar Trees and the Christmas stuff is just incredible. And I'm like, okay, it's gotta be in my Dollar Trees too, right? Now, I haven't been having a lot of luck at that, but at the second Dollar Tree, I did find a few things and we're going to start with these guys. <laughs> these are just pool noodles, but they're white and I already know what I'm going to make with these. So very cool that you can still find pool noodles at the Dollar Tree. And it seems like they have pool noodles for every season now. And this is so awesome, you guys. This is actually a egg container, like a deviled egg container. But my daughter showed me this. She's actually using it for a paint container to hold her paints. I don't know if it was supposed to come with the bottom. This was the only piece that I really wanted. So this is what I bought. But I can fill up the different egg compartments with paint. And then I can use the center of the container for mixing my paints together. And next, oh my gosh, I have not seen these before. I found these candle holders, votive candle holders, and they're so pretty. They are my favorite, they're mercury glass, and they already have like a tree pattern on the outside of it. I think those will be adorable for Christmas decorating. And again, first time I've seen these at the Dollar Tree. And I was able to find some of the little crystal reindeer. I was so happy to find these. I have been looking for these guys. And I did buy a couple of these guys. I bought three of them for a project, but you'll see on Thursday. And Crafter Square is getting out these really cute wood signs, wood cutouts. And this is a wreath with a Merry Christmas truck in the center and I really like the top of it because these actually come off really easily the hanger so I can put beads on them oh and I was really happy to find these these are microfiber duster mop heads and I bought four of them now I'm sure they work really well for dusting your floors but I bought them for a project have an idea of what I'm gonna be using these for? Now, this was just too cute. I had to get this. And this says, believe in the magic of Christmas. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use it like this, but I really liked the wooden beads they have on the top on the hanger. So this may be getting made over, but even if I just hung it up just like it is, it's really pretty and I think that would be very pretty in anyone's decorating for Christmas. And oh my goodness, isn't he adorable? This is Mary Berry scented soap and it comes in a really fun snowman dispenser. 
So at first when I picked it up, I thought it was just the dispenser and I'm like, that that's adorable. But when I picked it up and I felt that it actually had soap in it and I opened it up and smelled it and it actually smells really good. So this will look really cute, probably in my bathroom for Christmas for $1.25, that is awesome. And they also had these red cutting boards and how appropriate for Christmas, right? This adorable red cutting board is perfect for Christmas crafting. Perfect, it's perfect for crafting. All right, so that was everything that I got from the second Dollar Tree. Now let's talk about the third Dollar Tree. So this Dollar Tree is the closest to my home. And unfortunately, they must be having issues with getting people to work or, I don't know, hiring employees, but they really limit the hours of when the store was open. So I went on Friday because the last time I went and the last time I checked, they were open until six o'clock on Fridays, which gave me enough time to rush over there after I got off of work on Friday evening. But when I got there, I was a little bit shocked because on the door, the sign said they were only open until five. It said Monday through Friday, eight to five. And I was like, oh, it's 5.30. I'm, I'm not gonna get to go inside. But I looked inside and there were people in there and there was another sign on the door that said they were open. So I went in and I am so glad that I did because out of all of the different Dollar Trees that I went to, the three different stores, the third Dollar Tree actually had some of the things that I had really been looking for. And they even had a few things that I didn't know that they had because I haven't seen them before. And one of those things is this sled. It says Merry Christmas on it for now. That's going to change, but it is in the shape of Santa's sleigh. Very cute. And for Santa's sleigh, I found these poinsettias and they are going to go perfect into my sleigh, which is a project. And I really, I, I, these were nice. So I was really happy to get these. And they also had some of the styrofoam trees. So these are foam or floral foam cone shapes. And every once in a while I can find these, but not all of the times. But if you see these in your Dollar Tree and you're thinking you might want them for a project, you should get them when you see them because the next time they probably won't have them. So. Styrofoam cones, $1.25. It's not a horrible price. Everything is so expensive anymore. And these have actually stayed the same size of, as they've been in the past. So $1.25 is a good deal, I think, for styrofoam trees. And I did pick up one of these plain wooden boxes, except that guy is kind of warped on the bottom, but that's okay. But I haven't seen these before. They have like an acorn trim on one side of it. So it's like a I don't know what you call those, but I'm going to use it for something else. But this was the perfect size, so I went ahead and got it. Now, these were really nice. And again, I have not ever seen these at the Dollar Tree. They are pine picks, mini pine picks. And there's six pieces in here. And these are going to work perfect for something that I had in mind. And I actually saw something very similar to this at Hobby Lobby, and it was like $4.99. This is totally equivalent to that, and it was $1.25. This is a better deal. And I actually found something that I've seen other YouTube creators talk about, and it's these antler ornaments. So there's six antlers in each package. So I got a couple packages for a project, and they actually had these in this white glitter but then they also had a bronze and they also had gold. So they had a lot of them. And oh my gosh, this was so, I guess it wasn't funny. And I don't want to get anybody in trouble for this, but when I was going up and down the aisles at the third Dollar Tree that I went to, they actually had the book out that shows the employees how to put everything out in their display. So I was like, ooh, I kind of want to look at this. So I did. And I was turning the pages because not only did it show how they were going to put the displays out, but they also showed the dates of when these things were going to come out. And the pages that I did see, they had a target date of October 20th. So we're a couple of days past that. They don't quite have everything out. But again, if they're having staffing issues, I can understand it. But it was pretty cool to see. I felt like I was seeing something top secret. It was pretty cool. 
Okay, now I was really excited. I get really excited when I go to the Dollar Tree. I don't know how else to just, I just, I get really excited, especially when I find something like this. This is so cool. Now this is a floral ribbon. It's 18 feet long and three, just over three inches wide, but I have never seen anything like this at the Dollar Tree and it looks like wood. So this, I have been searching for something like this for a project and I cannot believe I found it at the Dollar Tree and how big it is, 18 feet of ribbon. And I'm not sure how much I'm going to need for my project. So I did buy a couple of these. So one, two, three, four times two would be eight. So almost 80 feet, so probably 75 feet of this crafting ribbon, which looks like wood. So super excited. It looks like birch wood. I think that might give you a clue of what I'm planning on doing with this ribbon. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Aren't those adorable? These are little metal reindeer or deer in different plaid patterns. They had green and they had red and he's metal and he has a wooden base. You could put some greenery around it and you could pretty much use it just like that. But of course, you know, I'm going to do something really cool with him and him. Now at the third Dollar Tree, they also had scarves out, but they had some different patterns. So I found a really pretty snowflake pattern. And then this almost looks like one of the ugly sweaters, but isn't that cute? And again, these are fleece scarves. They are 59 inches long and they are seven and a half inches wide. This one is nine and a half inches wide. So this guy's a little bit wider, but I really like these patterns. And I finally found some of the metal decorations or ornaments and they look like package tags, but they are so cute. This one says farm fresh Christmas trees and this one says joy. So those are going to go on a project that I already have in mind, but super cute. They're tin, they're metal, but really, really nice signs and so happy that they finally put these out. I gotta get my Christmas crafting done. Okay, so that is my Dollar Tree Christmas searching haul. And I know it is super early. In fact, every Dollar Tree that I went to, people were like, you're buying Christmas stuff already? And I'm like, yeah, I gotta make some videos and I gotta get my Christmas crafting going. So if you aren't finding these items in your Dollar Tree quite yet, don't worry, they're working on it and hopefully they'll have them soon and hopefully you can have your own Dollar Tree haul with a whole bunch of Christmas treasures that you can start crafting with too. And like I've said many times in this video, be sure to come back on Thursday, which is just a couple of days away because all of these different things that I got from the Dollar Tree, we're gonna make some Christmas crafts. So get ready for a long video because I got a lot of crafting to do.